Hey guys, good morning. Good morning from chilly Tokyo. It's kind of a chilly day today, but that's okay. That's perfect because today I'm gonna to take you guys inside three of Tokyo's Sento public bathhouses. I've actually never been in one myself, so I'm super excited. So back in the old days in Japan, there were Sento everywhere in Tokyo because the average person didn't have a bath in their home. So they would go to a public bathhouse to share a bath with their local community. Today in Tokyo, of course, most people do have a bath in their home, but there are still 600 Sento remaining in Tokyo. All right, so our first stop for today is Kaiseiyu behind me here. Let's head in and see what it's like inside. Konnichiwa. This is a newly renovated building, so it looks quite new and fresh inside here. We have the female side here. The male bath is behind me here. Bathing necessities like soap, shampoo, or razors are often sold at Sento in case you forget something. So I have special permission today to wear a towel inside the bath because I'm filming, but normally you want to go in completely naked. Also another important rule is that before you go in, you want to do kake yu. Kake is to pour over and yu is hot water. So basically you want to clean off your body before you enter the bath, so that's what we're going to do now. Kaiseiyu is famous for the huge aquarium that they have in the wall back here. Heated, you can feel the little bubbles in the water against your skin. It's really cool. And something in the water made my skin extremely soft. It was really cool how you could relax in the bath and enjoy the view of the fish behind you. Next I went on to try the regular water bath, but over there I discovered my absolute favorite thing about Sento, the massage bath area. It's like a mini jacuzzi that fits perfectly around your body. You push a button, the jets begin and you sit in there and it's just like your own personal jacuzzi. It was, it was pretty amazing. Highly recommend it. The silky bath was also really nice. It was like a really smooth and creamy bubble bath. I really love the variety of baths that are available in the Sento. Once you're nice and warmed up from the baths, you can dry off and head out to the waiting area where you can find this vending machine with nice cool drinks to cool you down. You're going to need it. We're just arriving at our next location. This is Saito Yu. Right inside the doors of this Sento, you'll find a little locker area. Saito Yu is actually 80 years old, but they recently underwent a renovation, so the decor looks really new and modern while still incorporating some elements of traditional Japanese style. This Sento had a ticket machine, so you put in your coins, press the adult button, and out pops your ticket. The inside of the bath is nice and bright with lots of natural light. If you would prefer to have a little privacy, they also had shower booths, which I thought was really cool. Once I had showered, I headed straight for the electric bath. This Sento had an electric bath. A low electric current is running through the water, supposed to help soothe sore muscles. This Sento also features a gorgeous notenburo, or outside bath, where you can enjoy lots of natural light and fresh air coming through the ceiling. After enjoying the massage bath at the previous Sento so much, I had to see what Saito Yu had to offer. 
They actually had a whole row of massage baths here and this one special reclining one. It was super comfortable. You lie down and there is even jets at the bottom which massage your feet. Saito-yu also has a carbonated bath. Nice warm temperature and not too hot, which I really enjoyed. You could see the bubbles in the water. I finished off my stay with a quick dip into the cold bath and then I headed out to the waiting room to enjoy a nice cool drink before heading on to the next sento. Sento is in the middle セントっていうのは本当に赤ちゃんから元年より90歳ぐらいまでの方が見えるんでそれぞれ満足してもらえるあの浴槽温度の設定あらゆるものを考えて皆さんに喜ばれる浴場づくりをしました Welcome to our next Sento location. We are at Inariyu. This Sento is over 80 years old. It's been passed down from generation to generation, but they've really maintained the old traditional style. It's a lot different than the other two Sento we visited, so let's go inside and check it out. The interior of this bathhouse is made mostly from wood, a very traditional design, and features a bandai, which is a seat where the staff will sit and they have a view of the entire bathhouse to make sure nothing sketchy is going on, no one's stealing anything, and they can also watch over the customers to make sure everyone is safe. Alright, let's go in. This sento was actually featured in a Japanese movie, so it's quite well known here in Japan. Can you see the Mount Fuji behind me here? You've probably noticed that there are Mount Fuji in actually all three of the sento that we visited today. This is actually the symbol of Tokyo sento. Most of the sento you visit will have a Mount Fuji painting or a tile work design, but you may find a surprise and find something different inside. So that's kind of one of the ways you can enjoy sento is seeing what kind of picture they have on the wall. Even the kakeyu buckets are traditional style, made out of wood here. So they have three different temperature baths. This is the nuduyu, which is the coolest one, but it's still 39 degrees, so I wouldn't consider it cool. It's definitely warm. Medium temperature water, which is actually quite hot. And then <laughs> hot, which is probably impossible for me to enter because I'm very sensitive to heat. Holy, that, that's really hot. They weren't lying. <laughs> the Nuduyu, or coldest temperature bath that they have, was actually the perfect temperature for me. <laughs> 39 degrees seems about right, but apparently the older customers really, really enjoy the hot bath. So I touched it and that's about as far as I got. The Sento also has something interesting. See these rocks here? I thought they were just for decoration, but they're actually called Ashitsubo and they push the pressure points on your feet. So you're supposed to stand on here for a few seconds. It's kind of painful, um, but it's supposed to be good for you. So let's do it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You'll also find a great selection of cold drinks like these mini beer cans that were super adorable. Teas, juices, vitamin water, they have it all. They also had a little manga section which I thought was cool. But my favorite part was this little outdoor garden they had with a koi pond. <laughs> These ones come together. The yellow one's so pretty. He is pretty. So Sento are really just the place to come and relax and they're really affordable. The price of Sento in Tokyo is 460 yen and it's set to that, so each Sento is the same price. えっと、どういう人が来るんですか?うん、と、ご家族連れか、あとは年取って掃除が嫌だとか、お風呂が結構お家にない人とか、いろんな方いらっしゃるんで、ただやっぱりお風呂が大きいんでね、のんびりした
which can be roughly translated as like naked relationship, which is kind of strange. But after experiencing all these sento and kind of imagining what it would be like, just chilling in here with your neighbors, I can kind of understand it now. One important thing is there are some rules you need to follow when you are visiting a sento. So please watch this ending clip and learn about those rules. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. Here are some basic guidelines that you can follow at the Sento in Japan. First of all, you want to be completely naked, no bathing suit. And you want to make sure you have a shower before you get into the bath. Make sure not to put your towel into the bath with you. And there'll be some little stools to sit on while you're showering, so don't stand up. Also, don't wash your clothes or underwear in the shower. Make sure to dry off well before heading back into the dressing area. And that's it. Have fun, guys.